I am Marwa Al Khalaf, and this is the Great British Chef's signature series. When you ask people what's Iranian cuisine, they would probably think of a kebab shop around the corner where you go and get served a huge portion of rice and grilled meat. So part of the reason why I wanted to open this restaurant is to introduce the real Iranian cuisine to Londoners. It's the only country in the Middle East where they have noodles as part of their cuisine. When you go to the south, they're using a lot of spices. When you go to the north, it's more fruity because that's what they grow there. Everywhere you go, there is something completely different that you cannot find anywhere else. My name is Marwa Al Khalaf. I'm the chef director of Not Show London, and today we will be making the Mazandarani lamb, one of our most popular dishes on the menu. This particular dish is inspired by this lady that I went to her restaurant in uh, the region of uh, northern Iran. The way she does it, she cooks a whole lamb in this really nice sauce and the result is just really amazing. So when we opened the restaurant, I really wanted to do something inspired by that dish that I had at her restaurant, but we're doing our modern take on the dish. So the first step is choosing the perfect cut for this dish. Today we're using a lamb rum. And the first step would be to score the fat and then salt the lamb so it will retain its juices while we're cooking it and then we will leave it to uh, rest for about half an hour. So while your lamb is resting, you can start uh, working on your lamb marination. We have some uh, tomato paste here, coriander seeds that have grounded freshly to retain its natural oils, the ginger powder, dried mint, two clove garlics that you need to just roughly chop and after that your marination is ready. It's all about the balance of all the different uh, flavor profiles that you have on your dish. So if you get the balance right, the result is amazing. You're set to start cooking Iranian food. So all you need to do is put some olive oil in a small pan, put all of the ingredients in there, just cook it for a few minutes to uh, make sure that you know the tomato base is cooked and it's not too acidic. Cool. And just like that, your marination is ready. Just cool it down and then when your lamb is ready, we can start marinating it. The lamb has been in the fridge for half an hour and now all you need to do is just clean the excess salt and then your lamb is ready to be marinated. Just make sure that you properly cover all sides of the lamb and uh, make sure that you get some of the marination into the cuts of the fat as well. This way you ensure that every part of the lamb is properly marinated. It really comes all together once you pair it with the apricot puree and the tomato salsa. Leave it in the marination overnight ideally or for a couple of hours in your fridge until you're ready to cook it. So, the apricot puree, uh, you will need about five apricots. Cook them with the stones until they're soft and mushy, and then you can just remove the seeds and you're ready to start the process. So in a pan, add your um, cooked apricots, juice of one lemon, two oranges, and just to add a bit of an exotic flavor to it, three pots of cardamom. So now I'm just cooking the apricots with all the juices and the cardamom to infuse the flavors. It's only going to take about uh, five to seven minutes, not longer because we've already cooked the apricots and they're already soft and they don't need to cook anymore. So we now just pour everything into the blender and just blend it until it's smooth and has no lumps. And just like that, your apricot is ready. So that's the consistency we're looking for, just a drop in consistency with the smooth puree and no lumps. We can move on to the saffron tomato salsa. The first step would be to infuse some saffron into hot boiling water. Just you want it to uh, sit there for a few minutes to extract all the flavor out from your saffron. And for the saffron tomato salsa, I have here two large tomatoes that I've already grated and I tried to drain most of the moisture out and right now it's ready to be marinated. All you need is about 5 ml of, from the saffron water to just give it a bit of a saffron background. Uh, so add about 5 ml of the saffron water 
Also, if you have any white balsamic vinegar or a vinegar that's uh, sweet and acidic, not just acidic. The one that I have here is the white condimento. So you need about uh, 10 ml from that, a pinch of salt, and then just mix everything together and your tomato salsa is ready. Next step is to bloom your golden raisins. All you need is to just cover it with a bit of hot water and then uh, once it's uh, soft, just drain it and then we will marinate it just before plating. And just let your golden raisins sit for a couple of minutes and it should be ready in 10-15 minutes max. Now all you need to do is just get rid of the excess water and then just marinate it with some orange oil and some sapo water. And if you have uh, orange oil, that would be great. You can use that, otherwise you can just squeeze half an orange into there and use a bit of olive oil and it's ready. So now it's time to cook the lamb. We're not gonna steam it today. We're just gonna cook it straight on the grill. What I tend to do is to uh, crisp up the fat side first. So I try to put a higher level on the grill so the uh, fat won't get uh, directly on the heat. And then once the fat side is crispy, I would just flip it and just let it uh, cook nice and slow until it comes to whatever temperature that I like or the customer asks for. We finished cooking the lamb and I'm just gonna let it rest for a few minutes and then I'll cut it and plate it with you. I'm gonna start uh, plating, uh, starting with the apricot puree. All you need is really one dollop of the apricot puree. You don't want to put too much, otherwise it's going to overpower the, all of the flavors. Same with the raisins, it's very sweet, so just be mindful of that when you're plating. And then just sprinkle some black lime powder. These are really beautiful, they add some really intense savory flavor to the dish. Now that the lamb has rested, I'm just gonna slice it in the middle and take it to the plate. This dish is actually one of our most popular uh, dishes on the menu. A lot of people, they come back just to have this dish. So to finish, just put some of the saffron tomato salsa on the top, sprinkle a bit of salt, and if you have the orange oil, just sprinkle some of that on the top just to give it a bit of a nice orange flavor and just make it slightly shiny as well. And to finish, if you have microgreens, that would be good. Otherwise, regular herbs are even better. And this is my mazandarani lamb with apricot puree and saffron tomato sauce.